Hello, my name is Michael Downs and I'm a third year emergency medicine resident. And today I wanna to discuss the difference between running a medical cardiac arrest and a traumatic cardiac arrest. So we know that in medical cardiac arrest, there's many reversible causes. And the biggest thing that we're focusing on in medical cardiac arrest is circulation. And in traumatic cardiac arrest, it's no different, except it's managed in different ways. So in medical cardiac arrest, we're gonna do closed chest compressions, we're gonna do epinephrine to try to get the blood flow through the body and the heart restarted. In a traumatic cardiac arrest, you have likely low cardiac output that's caused this, and there's three things primarily that are causing this. It can be a cardiac tamponade, it can be tension pneumothorax, or it can be hemorrhagic shock or hypovolemia with no blood in the pump. Uh, so the way to address this is after establishing a secure airway, via either ET tube or cricothyrotomy, you want to then decompress the chest, which is by either placing bilateral chest tubes, doing scalpel finger thoracostomies bilaterally, or resuscitative thoracotomy. And in doing that, you relieve tension pneumothorax, or you can relieve a hemothorax, which could be causing this low cardiac output. The second thing that you can do is to get good IV access, whether it's an 18 gauge, 14 gauge, or placing an introducer sheath into the subclavian vein and getting blood products in to fill the heart as quickly as possible. The third thing that you can do is place a bedside uh, ultrasound probe onto the chest and trying to get a good cardiac window, uh, assessing for a pericardial fusion that could be causing cardiac tamponade and either performing a pericardiocentesis or a thoracotomy uh, to address this. Um, so just to uh, recap, the biggest difference between a medical cardiac arrest and traumatic cardiac arrest is that there's less priority on closed chest compressions and giving epi and more on addressing the reversible causes via good IV access and getting blood products in as quickly as possible, um, decompressing the chest and alleviating a tension pneumothorax or a hemothorax or using your ultrasound to assess for a cardiac tamponade and doing a pericardiosynthesis uh, to alleviate that as well.